Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to discuss about the Pythagoras relationship. The Pythagoras relationship was introduced by the Greek mathematician Pythagoras regarding the sides of a right angled triangle. The theorem says the area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares drawn on the remaining two sides. That is, look at this triangle. The hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle. So, in this case, the length of the hypotenuse is C. According to the relationship, we can write the sum of the squares of A and B is equal to the square of C like this. So, this is the representation of Pythagoras relationship in words and in symbols. Now, let us see whether this is practical. Look at this diagram. The right angle triangle of side lengths 3, 4 and 5 is shown here. We know the square of 3 and 4 are 9 and 16 respectively and when you add 9 and 16 the answer is 25 and it is obvious that 25 is the square of 5. So here the Pythagoras relationship is confirmed. The Pythagoras relationship can be confirmed in many other methods. Look at this diagram. The square on the hypotenuse is divided into few more shapes. These shapes can be adjusted and fixed into the other two squares like this. And ultimately, the two squares will be filled proving that the area of the larger square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the two squares on the other two sides. Now let us move on to an example on how to work out a sum using the Pythagoras theorem. Look at this example. We have to find the value of B. Since this is a right angled triangle, all what we have to do is to apply the Pythagoras theorem. According to the Pythagoras theorem, square of 6 and square of B, the summation is equal to square of 10. So, once we write this, now we have to subject B. B squared is equal to 10 squared minus 6 squared, that is B squared is equal to 100 minus 36. We know 36 and 10 are the squares of 6 and 10 respectively. Once when you do the subtraction, you get B squared is equal to 64. We know 64 is the square of 8. Therefore, B is equal to 8 units. Moving on to another example. A ladder is placed 5 feet away from the base of a tree as shown in the figure. If the height from the bottom to the point at which the ladder touches the tree is 12 feet, what is the height of the ladder. Here too we can apply the Pythagoras theorem because the tree and the ground are perpendicular to one another. The triangle between tree, the base and the ladder is a right angled triangle. So once when we apply the Pythagoras theorem we can write 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to h squared because in this case the ladder is the hypotenuse. So, let's simplify it. 12 squared is 144 and 5 squared is 25. The sum of the two is 169. You know 169 is 13 squared. Therefore, the height of the ladder is 13 feet. So, hope I made myself clear regarding Pythagoras theorem, how to apply the theorem in questions and how to work out with Pythagoras theorem. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.